power output. Power output is the output of current density power to the skin site through a 500 ohm test load. Consult your OAM service manual for specific ohmage test values. In this case, a 500 ohm test load simulates body impedance or AC resistance of a patient or operator on the low side while the 750 ohms simulates a high. We can compute target currents if our analyzer does not measure up to 1000 ohm loads. For example, ITMA equals 1000 times the square root of PT divided by RL. Imagine our analyzer's maximum test load is 750 ohms. To calculate our new MA ratings, we replace the total power, PT, with the setting of 28 watts, divided by 750 ohms, which is the RL, or resistance load, and then take the square root of that, and then finally multiply it by 1000, equaling 193 milliamps. Why do we perform this test? To ensure for linearity, linear percentage for accuracy actually, that any rated current or the ideal reproduces the actual power settings on display and it's within OEM acceptable limits, plus or minus 10%. Power output is measured in watts. So let's begin. First, we turn on the RF-303 electrosurge analyzer and connect our inputs. We will connect the blue dispersive or patient plate electrode to the main test load dispersive port. We will connect our active electrode or pin electrode to our active port since our setting is on high we will select the ohms which is 750 for our max press enter notice how it defaults to watts automatically and we will activate the pin. We will also, while activating the pin, make sure that our wattage is set to max, which it is. We see 35 on the display here. We should see 35 on the meter when we activate the pin now. Here we are measuring 35.5, 35.1 on the analyzer. We have 35 on the electrosurge. Now let's dial it down to 20. 20 on the display here. We should read 20 on the meter when we activate the pin. Activating the pin now. 19.7. 20.7. Five, we should measure five. Four point four five and at zero nothing. Nothing. 